Hello and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. I was working on my Craftsman riding mower and I uh, replaced a carburetor on it and a um, uh, wiring harness that got chewed up by a mouse and um, you can look for my links on that. But I got it all back together. I had to remove the gas tank and put some gas in it and it was pouring out. Uh, I guess because I messed with it and let the tank be dry because I had to drain it for a while. but. This is right where it was leaking, right at the bottom running down, and the first thought was my carburetor but or the hose, but right out of this uh, grommet right here. Uh, so what I did is, um, uh, this is a fuel tank bushing grommet. I went online and ordered it. I'll put the link down in the description if you would please use the link because um, uh, I'll get credit for it. But uh, uh, this is uh, the most common hole. It's, uh, it's a 13 millimeter, 3364 grommet. And I'll put a picture of the size of the actual grommet on here. Here, but if and I'll in the description I'll put a when I put the link I'll put whatever this you know fits it fits a ton of them because apparently this is the most common uh, grommet that goes bad so I'm going to show you how to replace that of course with uh, you don't have to take the tank out uh, I just happen to have the tank out and that's why I'm doing it now um, if your gas is all drained out I'm sure you can do it on the mower but uh, so here we're going to go. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this out like so. Can you see? And that's the, the grommet right there. And of course, uh, I'm going to clean the hole. I know this gas tank is dirty. I need to clean it up. But uh, just pop the little grommet off, which just could be a little bit of a pain. Nope, come right off. There it is right there. There's my fitting. And I'm going to open up. Uh, this came in a pack of six, and it was less than 10, 10, 10 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and take it, pop it in the hole like so. And then, of course, they say to put a little bit of lubricant on it. Um, you can use WD-40, whatever. You know, just a, just a little dab of uh, lubricant. On uh, that was a little more in a dab, and then all you do is you just take it, push it back in, and you should still be able to move it around where you need to. And that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll show it in, in the mower uh, with it hopefully not leaking. But again, I'll put a link down in the description. Where you can order it and uh or at least a page and um i hope this has helped you and um and, and uh have a good day okay real quickly i just wanted to show you this uh see no leaks and uh see how easy it is where you can get your hand in there to replace it but it, there again, it wasn't uh, hard to take off the tank. It was just two bolts. That's it. Tank comes right out. 